dry break. Efren will have a piece of that one. Race is 211. See what Joey has planned for that three ball. I don't believe it goes by the five. It must, or he wouldn't have played it there. Oh, played the combo. He's looking at holding it, taking the six to the top corner. Probably putting the seven in the same corner as the six. Overstruck it. Nice touch, Joey. I uh, don't know, Snicker. Uses inside to get there. And there it is. Joey takes the first one. For those of you just joining us, we are at The Bridge in Edmond, Oklahoma. They are hosting this exhibition match between the local favorite Joey Gray and Efren Reyes. Race to 11. Joey has taken the first one. Cut one down the break, but he doesn't have a good shot on the one. He attacks. Nice. He's playing for this too, though. He's looking at slicing it. 
Now, I have seen Joey make some very thin cuts to the side. He's going to have to remove the pain off of this ball. Oh! Not what you want to do. Giving Efren a shot at the table. An easy shot at the table at that. Four and five are on opposite ends of the table. We'll see how he gets to it. No problem, just up and down. Like this rack's just going to be a walk in the park for Efren. Love how he controls that cue ball. Nice. The one changing the score right now is the owner of the bridge, Nathan Poland. Looks like Joey's got a good shot at this table. Things are laid out nice, nothing with too much trouble. Spinning around a couple of rows. Hold up, hold up. Look on Joey's face, looks like he wanted to travel a little further than that. Puts it in the side nicely though. I don't know Snooker, when I get a chance I will ask him. That is a very good question, I should have found that out earlier.
Joshua from. Do you know what kind of cue Joey shoots with? A McDermott? Durbin. A Durbin. Durban Durban Q's. Durban Q's. Okay. Joey shoots with the Durban Q. He's actually sponsored by Durban Q's. Hey, hey. Old man Craig's birthday today. Happy birthday, Craig. Third one. Scores now two to one, Joey. Sets up mice, but nothing falls. The race is 211, and I'm not for sure how much. Joshua, what rules are they playing by? BCA? Uh, yeah, standard nine ball. Standard nine ball, three foul rule in effect? Okay. Okay. They're just doing the standard nine ball rules, and I've got somebody checking to see if they're doing the three foul rule or not. Not help run into that four if he takes it to the side that it's facing. Ooh. He did pretty good though. playing on a nine-foot blue diamond. Joey would like to cross bank this right back to the corner, but he's not for sure. He can get the cue out of the way. For those of you who don't know who Joey Gray is, he is no slouch. He is creative and he can shoot well.
going to send it three rails and come up short or go long and take it to the corner he's standing close to. Oh, it's coming up short side. Joey takes down game four. Score is three to one. Joey Gray. Jim Ingram, you do Jim's Jim's cues, Ingram cues. So, how do you think uh, Joey's playing right now? Super. Super. I don't think he's third either. Well, I'd what like you... to know who's second if he's third. Yeah. I know who's first. Who's first? And probably he would tell you Chip Compton is. Chip Compton's first? I think so, yeah. Ah. Well, I don't know that, what, what Joey thinks. Yeah. And Joey knows more about it than I do, by the way. Yeah. But uh, he was just a little boy the first time that I ever saw him. <laughs> and the guy that brought him over to us said he's going to be good someday. He already had a knack for it. Oh, yeah. Natural talent for it. Yeah. Natural yeah. talent. Well, thank you, Jim. Well, thank you. Uh-huh. That's Jim Ingram of Ingram Cues, located right here in Oklahoma, right, Jim? Yes, it is. Yep. Mario, friend of Joey, watching him shoot. Thank you for joining us, Mario. For those of you just joining us, we are at the Bridge Billiards in Edmond, Oklahoma. Exhibition match during Efren Reyes' farewell tour, playing the local Oklahoma pro Joey Gray. Race to 11. Joey is up 3 to 1. Yeah, Dennis, what do you think? Efren's just playing with him, giving him a little confidence before he takes over. One end of the table to the other like it was nothing. Benny from Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you for joining us. Efren <laughs> takes game five. Two to three. Joey Gray is still in the lead. The owner of the Bridge Billiards, Nathan Tolan, is racking. Nathan just opened this place in April, and he set this place up the way he feels a pool player would want this place set up, and it is really nice. Six, seven. Looks 
like he has eight nine-foot diamond tables. And he's got six, eight standard diamond bar tables. And he has one snooker table in the very back, kind of set off by itself. I don't know how much it's for. Mr. Easy Money himself, Taylor Anderson, is watching. I used to hang with Taylor Anderson when I lived in Kansas City, living back down here in Oklahoma now. Taylor, thank you for joining us. that good use of the inside English to get down below the nine. The eight easily goes by the nine in either corner. Oh, I look on his face. He came up a little short. Yes, I think they are only just going to be playing nine ball for this exhibition match. And after the match is over, I don't know what the plan is, if uh, he's going to do any more. Earlier before the match, Efren was doing challenge matches. If you bought a VIP ticket, you could uh, challenge Efren to a game. Ties it up, takes game six. Score is three to three. Everybody for joining us. We are at the Bridge Billiards in Edmond, Oklahoma. Nathan Tolan, the owner, is we just finished racking. Exhibition match between local Oklahoma favorite Joey Gray. And everybody knows Efren Reyes. Efren is on his farewell tour, and his next stop is gonna be in Iowa. Or Idaho, did they say? No, they said Iowa. They're headed off to Iowa tonight after this is done. If you have not liked or shared this stream, we would appreciate it. It's a cliffhanger. I was watching Joey Bank earlier. He was nailing most every single bank he was trying. Let's see how he does on this one. Yeah, 
It's oh, rattled out. He was right in the way. I don't know if you got to see that. Nope, it rattled out. Just caught the far edge. Yeah, it looks like Ephraim was just getting a feel for Joey earlier. Ephraim takes game seven, takes the lead now. 4-3 Ephraim over Joey Gray. And I'd like to thank everybody for joining us. If you haven't liked or shared this stream, please do so now. Nathan Tolan, owner of the Bridge Billiards here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Racking them up for Ephraim. If any of you pullovers happen to be traveling through Oklahoma and are driving through Edmond, be sure to stop in to the Bridge Billiards, located at Edmond Road in Santa Fe on the corner, the northwest corner of Santa Fe and Edmond Road. Nice place. Set up well, set up the way a pool player would want a billiard hall to be set up. Let's see what Efren does here. Efren's still filling out the break. He was breaking good earlier, now he's... Controlling the cue very well. Uh, Dennis, you think he's just toying with Joey? Well, we'll see if Joey can hold his own. See if he can get one back. from here if you got safe or not. It's not looking like it. Does it get over? No, it doesn't get over far enough. I agree with you, Dennis. I've watched Efren for many a year, and his free will, and when he gets to where he feels that table, knows exactly what that cue is going to do. He is fun to watch. Oh, does he get lucky? Nope. Oh, 
overcut that. Good job, Efren. Yeah, I think Efren's feeling a little sorry for Joey. I don't think he can see. He might not be able to see the one. He might not be able to see the one. Looks like he can see a piece of it. It's going to be tough to get over for that two and keep it from following in. That two is deep. Yeah, he don't like it at all. He's doing the smart thing. He's taking a minute to rethink it all. Super thin cut for Efren. This is usually no problem for him. He's just wondering how he wants to control that cue ball. Does he keep fumbling it from behind? Does he get to the gap? Nope. He's not quite square behind the six, but he is behind the six. Told you that two is deep in there. those side pockets, is not afraid of those side pockets. Five in the corner, six in the side. He might be looking at he might be looking at a 7-9 Karen the way he set his cue down. Yeah, he might be looking at a 7-9 Karen. Or he, yeah, I know. He's just looking to go for the 7, wanting to know where the 9 was going to go after pocketing the 7 in the corner. Oh, nice touch, Joey. Don't even have to worry about it now. Decided to take the eight to the same corner. But I agree with you, Dennis. That's probably the way I would have thought he would shoot it. And Joey takes down game eight. Ties it back up, 4-4. Four, four. If you're just joining us, thank you. We are at the Bridge Billiards in Edmond, Oklahoma. Efren's farewell tour. 
playing the local house pro or local Oklahoma pro, Joey Gray. Joey, are they doing the three foul rule? Three foul rule, yes or no? Uh, I would assume so. Okay. Uh, I don't know, we didn't ask that question. Okay. <laughs> I just got through asking Joey if they are doing the three foul rule or not, and even Joey doesn't know. And then he told me he would not like that option against Efren. I admire how humble Efren is. Oh yeah. He has been humble. I've seen him play and it's just amazing. Yes. How he, humble he is. Very humble man. Very humble man. He doesn't brag with those. Yeah. Alright, Joey about to snap off game nine. <laughs> Finally a ball on the break. Long tester here. How's Joey Stroke? Hmm. That was not easy. Not easy. Effort just puts it right in. Years of stroking that cue ball. It snuck out. Looking to get safe. It looks like he got there. But I agree with Dennis. You don't want to get in a ducking match with uh, Efren Reyes. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, I'm telling you, you do not want to get in a ducking match with this man. Rails in and out. Make it be five. Nope. Oh, he's got such a smooth touch. There it is. Game nine goes to Ethan Reyes. Scores five to four, Efren. Thank you for joining us at the Bridge Billiards in Edmond, Oklahoma. I'm your commentator, Vance Massey. Looks like Efren wants to switch back to the template rack. Magic rack. He's not liking. He's not liking the loose rack. This is a race to 11. Efren is up 5-4 over the local Oklahoma pro, Joey Gray. We were at the Bridge Billiards here in Edmond, Oklahoma. is going to keep using the template rack. That was nice. Oh, nice shot. Two and the four gone. Everyone will go right from the three to the five. Squeeze through here, 
actually just walk up front. Joey can't let Efren get too far ahead. He is a tough man to come back on. And he's a tough man to stay out in front of. I agree with you, Snicker. Efren is such a creative, fun player to watch. Efren takes another one. Six to four now. Efren Reyes and a race to 11. We're at the Bridge Billiards, Edna, Oklahoma. I am your commentator, Vance Massey, tonight. We are streaming this live, and we are doing it on the cheap. We are using a cell phone set up on a tripod to stream this live on Facebook. Thank you for joining us. So close. Two ball down. It doesn't look too much. It doesn't look like there's going to be too much of a problem to get to the three ball. Oh, he wants us to hold up. Nope. No problem for Efren. Little run around the table. Playing dodgeball with the six. My friend Craig asking me how I got the gig to be commentator. Because I was the one that wanted to do it. And the owner did not know anything about live streaming. So I told him I would help out, get the live stream going. I may not be the best commentator there is, but I enjoy doing it. Ooh. And I think I'm the only one that wanted to do it. Wow. I can take some other one. Game 11 goes to Efren and scores now 7 4 in a race to 11. If you're just now joining us, we're at the Bridge Billiards. Efren Reyes is playing the local Oklahoma favorite. Why, thank you, Jeremy. Efren's playing the local Oklahoma pro, Joey Gray. Oh, yeah, Dennis. I've watched a lot of those YouTube videos. Efren playing in the Philippines, where everybody's two feet away from the table. 
And every time you want to shoot, you have to ask somebody to move. Oh, look at that break. Nice job, Efren. Steve, thank you. You're welcome for the stream. I enjoy watching pool, too, on the live streams. So I convinced Nathan, the owner of the Bridge Billiards. He's just, just opened this place up in April, and he's trying to get, uh, trying to get some recognition, trying to get the name of the bridge billiards out there to people so they will know he exists come by check it out I agree with you, Mario. Efren is good. Joey's going to take this push on. Ooh, ooh, hold up, two. Hold up, two. Nope. Beefed out. Good effort, Joey. Good effort. Oh. Watch this easy touch he has. Back and forth for the six. Love the way he can hold that ball and send it straight up the table. All right, game 12. Effort up, 8 4. Race to 11. What is it do you think that makes an effort? People like you know Joey here, who is third in the state. Why is Efren pulling ahead eight to four right now? In my opinion, I would say Efren. Efren has a great feel for the game. He has a great feel for the speed of a table, and his creative ways of moving that cue ball around where he wants it is the reason that he pulls ahead. He's not really worried about whether or not he's going to make the ball. He's more concentrating on where he's putting that cue ball on the table to make everything easy for him. But I'd like to hear from the chat room. What do you guys think? Why do you think, what makes Efren a better pool player than a lot of the others out there? Now there's a good safety out of Joey. Great like defense. I said, you don't want to get in a ducking game with this man.
<laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, he might see a piece of it. He might see a piece. <laughs> oh, looks like Joey's uh, scheduling a flight plan. Joey's going to schedule a flight plan. I agree with you, Terry. He is way more consistent than a lot of the others. I agree with you, Snooker. Oh! Wow. Sorry about that. That might have been a little loud. So close, Joey. So close. touch with a nice angle on the two to get back up for the three. You know, Snooker, it's funny that you say that because earlier when uh, after the challenge matches were done and Efren was just hitting around, he was playing three cushion on this table. Three cushion with pockets and that's tough to play. Close to the rail, but it isn't going to matter. Yeah, I believe you're right, Jimmy. He may be looking to get this match over with quick because he's got to go to Iowa. They're heading off to Iowa tonight. Nine four. Efren. In this race to 11 here at the Bridge Billiards in Edmond, Oklahoma. Efren Reyes farewell tour exhibition match against Joey Gray. I'm your commentator, Vance Massey. The owner of the Bridge Billiards, Nathan Tolan, is racking right now. in his face and I said from here on out Efren is going to pull forward. Yep. Yes please. Thank you Oreo.
just a walk in the park for Efren here. Efren on the hill. Efren on the hill. Race to 11. The score is 10 to 4. Efren. If you just joined us, you're watching the live spring of Efren's farewell tour. We are at the Bridge Billiards here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Ethan Reyes is playing Joey Gray, the local favorite. I'm curious to dry break. Yes, Mark. Um, Efren's uh, tour is actually out there somewhere on the internet. Um, all of his stops. Um, I know his next stop is in Iowa, but I can't remember what his other stops are from there. Uh, he's just come from uh, a couple of places down in Texas. Uh, he was there uh, this last week. I was just trying to confirm what is going to happen if this game finishes so early. They are talking about maybe some one pocket or challenge matches. Uh, we don't know yet. But after this one, I will end this stream so we can save this one by itself and start a new live stream once they decide what they're going to do. Looks like Efren is about to put the finishing touches on this match. All right. Let's give it up for Efren. Still the man. Still the man. All right, guys. 